Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's session of Baldur's Gate 3. Hey, Sophia Jeffrey, thank you so much for the follow. How are you tonight? I am playing Baldur's Gate 3. Just like 700,000 other people who are watching or streaming or whatnot. At least that's the active count on Steam to this day. A lot of people playing this game. How is your evening? Yesterday we had a great, great session. We managed to plow through not only the main sidekick of the evil guy we'll be facing in this act, but also to actually convince Shadowheart to stop her pursuit of the goddess Shar and instead turn towards the light, towards her friends and companions. We'll see how that plays out. And now we're definitely looking into seeing what will happen next with Catholic Thorm. What will happen with the Harpers who have joined us to push towards this final encounter? Well, let's see if we can find out tonight. Hey, Davy D. Thank you so much for wishing me good luck and thanks for the lurk. I appreciate it. What about you, Sophie? Are you are you a streamer as well? What kind of games do you play? So last we left off, we were in the camp. We just took a long rest. So we're just going to return back and see what else are we missing to explore? Because here we are. We can see the path here. We can see the harpers are waiting for us to come in. I'm not sure if we're quite ready yet because we want to check out this tall house over here. So let's um, let's take a walk over there. So for all the new viewers who are joining tonight, just want to give you a short introduction to our party here so here at the back we have shadow heart the cleric of the group she's the one who was um worshiping shar shar is a goddess of darkness not necessarily a very pleasant character but still she was worshiping her all was fine she kept being pushed further and further um and finally she didn't really feel like accommodating all those things anymore so you know, she abandoned her faith and now she is um, she's in a bit of a despair situation. Next, we have Gale. Gale, the man who keeps getting himself into trouble, particularly because he actually stole a piece of magic weave from Mistra herself. Mistra, in this world, is the goddess of magic. And she seemed to have an issue with that, so... Um, Seems like he has this kind of thing where he will self-detonate at some point and blow up everything. So Gale, aka the walking nuke. Then the masked guy over here, Asterion. The rogue of the party. We found out that Asterion, he is actually a vampire. And he's been made vampire by a sire who seeks to kill him off in a ritual in order to make himself, well, what does everyone want? Make himself invincible, unkillable, all of that. But Asterion is sticking to us. Hopefully we'll find his sire at some point and prevent those shenanigans. Last but not least, main character of the group, the man himself, Kron, the fighter. There he is. Kron is a half-orc, a very simple man. He mostly prefers to walk in, talk a bit, fight a bit, drink a bit. He doesn't really care much about all these things that are happening around him. He's just, you know, going with the flow, so to say. Well, we'll see how that goes for him as we venture deeper and going to the tall house. So let's see what awaits us. What's awaits us here? 
Hit the yellow dots, the NPCs here. <clears throat> and it seems like the NPC is actually upstairs. There are these visages of regret. You should leave now. Okay. I mean, that doesn't sound very kind at all. It's blocked from behind, really. Huh. Okay. Well, it looks like we need to go upstairs somehow because that's where everyone is walking about. Let's see if we can... Um, let's see if we're going to make our way up. There's another visage here. Okay, he kind of woke up. <coughs> Sorry. Otherwise, we would have had to jump, you know. Visage of Greed, there he is. A Cursed Keeper of Coins, 606 HP. Um, wine, not good. Hmm. Let's try to toss her a gold piece. Okay, so she she just like absorbs gold or eats it. I wonder for how long she can be doing she can be doing that. All that you have. Uh -huh. That's a lot. The river. What river? Uh, why stay in this rolling building? Say you're golden, be free. Let's see how difficult it is. It is slightly difficult. We'll see if Kron has it in him. He did not have it in him. Sadly. It didn't work out. Well, he has three inspirations. Inspiration, so we can always just reroll. There we go, much better. The gold is not for me. The gold is for the toll. I collect the toll. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hey, Helen. Thanks for the follow. How are you tonight? Okay, so now we can just convince this person that you know. You shouldn't really be doing this anymore. No, that didn't work. Well, I'm not sure if we're gonna... How much do we need to roll to do a 21? I think we need to do a... Um, oh, we can try another roll. I mean, we have... 6 plus 9, it should be okay. Just roll a 15 or something. And did roll a 15. There we go. No. I will not pay anything. Go away. Oh, shit. We just got tons of XP and we just convinced her to to kill herself without doing anything and we got like a thousand gold. Yeah, thanks for the offer, Helen. I'm not really looking into any contributions right now, but um, thanks anyway. Okay, Visage of Greed, I can actually loot this stuff. I definitely feel like we concluded this much more elegantly than we could have. So that's that's a good thing. I, I'm totally happy with this outcome. We're going to quick save before we move on. And there are like a bunch of chests over here. Let's check them out. More gold. On more gold and cloud of daggers. 
Hmm. Okay. Now I'm just curious about that room down there, but I guess we won't. Stuck safe door. Okay. A strength check. Okay, so what can we get here? We got guidance. Um, advantages, strengths, checks, and saves. I mean, I don't have this very often. Just drink this, to be honest. There we go. This will work just fine. <laughs> and more gold. So from this run alone, we got like a thousand gold. It's pretty crazy. Okay, Asterion, please. Please open this. Luckily, Asterion, our rogue, he has such a high bonus to this that it's uh, it's never an issue to open anything. Which is nice. Okay. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so there is... Okay, so what's up here? Oh, it can be destroyed. Cool. Um, can I shoot this? No, I'll just attack it. No! I was like, why did it go away? There we go. Okay. There's a lot of stuff here. An iron vine shield. While the viewer is holding a weapon empowered with shillelay. Mm, I don't really use shillelay. Uh, shillelay is a weapon um, a weapon enchantment. Which is useful for early, early level combat for druids and stuff. Okay. I mean, I'll be ready to jump down in a bit. Just gotta check. What does the ledger say? Official record of traders, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Nothing very useful. What about these? Anything here? Nope. Okay, so let's jump down. 9 HP prone, really? Okay. That's a lot of HP, though. So I think we're gonna just um, ungroup here so it's only Kron that jumps, because no reason for everyone to take damage. Okay. So that was totally not worth it. At least not so far. There's a guild, just a crystalline lens. Some wood bark, some... Materials, I suppose. That's okay. Oh, I failed a perception check. How can I um, reach this? Like, can I attack this, for example? Now this is just like hanging there. Okay, so now maybe I can jump through. Yes, I can. I'm not sure this is the intended way of getting out of here, but... We're not gonna tell anyone. It's gonna be our little secret. I mean, yeah. So we're done here in the tall house. Good. In that case, let us proceed to the Moonrise Towers. da 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 Okay, do we have everything? Did we do all the other quests? Yeah, this is the Baldur's Gate travel, so actually we're very close to, to it here, but... Why did he take one damage? From what? Radiant damage. Holy fire. Okay, well... Okay. We're here now. A lot of dead people. And 
got an autosave, so you know what that means. Things are getting... Plate armor. 400 gold. I think so. Oh, there's a baguette. Very good. Oh, we are looting all this plate armor. Like, it sells for 400 gold a piece. That's insane. That is insane. You do they want to talk to us yet or okay, good. There goes the conversation. Unshackled from shadows. She will rise in moonlit glory and carve a path of brightness. Yes. That lady flying in the sky, we saved her last time. Okay. We can't allow that. See Chrono Greece. Sounds good. Warwick left some of her flaming fists. They'll scout the prisons and the barracks below to ensure we're not taken by surprise. Oh yeah, I want to go to the bottom as well. And we're off. Yeah, you're not joining a party, sorry. In this alight, there will be victory. I'm my party is full of champs. Catherick will taste of death at last. Yeah. Um, is there a vendor here? Oh, her, yeah. So let's uh, let's shop. Yes, I do. I do. I need a resupply for sure. So let me sell you all these uh, plate armors that I got. Uh, and maybe also some other stuff. Let's see, what do we have to sell? I'll sell this. I'll sell this. We're not gonna sell Circle of Bones. We're gonna sell this one. Um, look how much gold he has now. Jeez, Louise. Iron Shield Bone Saw. Some. Hand me my saw class action. Okay, a thousand gold. And what do you have? Do you have any new gear? Oh, I think you just have the same stuff. I have some very nice scrolls though. Dominate person. We need that. Definitely need dominate person. Hmm. Scroll of seeming. Disguise. Okay, there are some good scrolls here. I feel like buying a few just because they could be so good. I'm gonna buy all the potions as well. I have no idea when this would be relevant, but. Hmm, okay. Good. And I think we have some more stuff to sell. Sell this. And I think she can sell a few things. She will sell these things. Yes, and then Asterion, he has a few things too. I have no idea if I need this ingot, so just keep them. Am I wrong? Should I just be selling the ingots? 
We're just thinking, man, I, you never know when, when you'll need one, right? He still has a smoke powder bomb, which might be useful. Okay, good. We're done. <coughs> there are more zealots here. And questioners and stuff. And they all have the half plates. I guess this is something I would have had to fight through. Oh, look. Look at that. Look at that. We got ourselves a little, little worm. Little wormy worm. Uh, concentrated blast. That sucks. Not trained yet, 1d4 damage. Oh. What does this do? Shield of Thralls. Conjure all just heal around yourself. Intent of our hit points. In invest a creature with power that heals it when it attacks. Okay. Not really sure what I want here. I don't really feel like any of these are that good, but I think we're just gonna go for this for now. There we go. Uh, what about this guy? I mean, I feel like I'm looting all these keys, but it's probably just the same key, right? She's still yelling at me. So, by the way, if you're wondering, <coughs> who's it that's yelling all the time? That is actually a little thing. Another one. Huh. Um, it is actually a little um, fairy, fake creature that I have. Um, a trapped in a cage because I'm a monster. So, you know. Okay, so where does she walk? She walks there. I, I'm sorry, I'll need to sell her. Look, look at Kron. He can carry all the half plates, all the plate armor. He looted. So let's um, get rid of those. Letter of Surrender, yeah, that one will. Alright, good. Now I think we're done looting and we can proceed up here. After a quick save, of course. Adept Mola. They were level 8 and stuff. They were not, like, some... Oh, okay. Um, Gail, darling, do you mind um going up here? And let's see, how far can you toss the fireball? Oh, you can actually toss it very far. Let's see how far we can get inside. Let's see how far we can get inside. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. They did not do any damage? Or did I not cast Fireball? I don't know, but it's gonna be a great battle. I should not have rerolled that, I think. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Look how much... Uh, I've never seen a turn tracker before where you can actually see what is happening. Okay, th that's exactly what we needed, actually. An ice storm. And now we're gonna do our fireball though. So did he cast a fireball? No, he did not. 
Okay. That was a fire bolt, exactly. So let's just go here. Oh, I didn't have fireball memorized because I still have spells for the previous encounter. Great. Let me see. Oh, it's actually Gale. He can't do anything. Okay, so Asterion. Can you sneak attack? First of all, you need to move in. Then you need to do a cunning action dash. Let's see. I would say I would have an advantage here, but I guess no. Advantage against anyone? Hmm. I should shoot some of those guys up there, I suppose. But it doesn't have enough movement. Well. Okay. Okay, so now let's try. We'll do your Guardian of Faith. I think you need to move further in. Except you can't move further in. <coughs> we need to cast this Guardian of Faith thing. Let's try to do it here. Alright. Okay, more people are joining in now. He just could move through the Guardian's aura without getting... Okay. Fair enough. Okay, Gail. You can't use reaction slow, but I don't want to use reaction, I want to use a spell. You already spent your action on casting Firebolt, of course. Okay. What are they doing? It's very hard to tell. Okay, Kron. It's you now. Come on. Um... So, I suggest we jump into the fray. Can't jump anymore, I need three movement speed. No. Um, can I do a force tunnel? Guess not. I think we're just gonna do blur for now. Okay. This is fine. Do a misty step over here. Then we can do an action search. Yeah, sure. There we go. He delivers as usual. <clears throat> Counter spell. Cast something on the level targets. No thanks. I'd rather not have any of that. Okay, good. So now he's available. I don't react. I don't need a crit for that. Why is he not dead though? Did he have some silly thingy? Probably he did, but it doesn't matter now. Um, yeah. Okay, you hero, what do we have? Wild shape panther. Damn. Okay. So now we have you here. Do you have any cantrips? Okay, that guy is still alive. How about we go in there and... Um... Oh, you don't have enough movement for it. Okay. Fair enough. All right, so first we'll need to summon a spiritual weapon and it's gonna be a spear, it's gonna be over here. Uh, 
And then I think you're just gonna try to... Yep, yeah, not bad. Oh, he got up. The Disciple Zerel. That's really annoying when he does that black hole stuff. It is really, really annoying. Really, really, really annoying. Okay, so whose turn is it right now? Okay, they're just shooting things. Dash. Okay, okay, okay. It's really hard. Like, I'm just looking forward to when this turn order doesn't have, like, a carousel anymore. <laughs> so what can you cast? I mean, you need to cast haste on Kron, right? Okay. He got... Didn't get hasted, did he? Or what? He didn't get haste, why? Can I see the combat lock what happened? Oh, he gets counter spell. You fucker. You fucker. Stop casting, like, you're out of spell slots now. You know that, right? You're not gonna be continuing to cast this. Okay, so Kron. Okay. Oh yeah, he's slowed. Why doesn't he have an action? I don't get it. I don't get why he didn't have an action. Because of the slow, of course. Never works to charm them. For some reason. Okay, he did not actually manage to hit. Can I do Misty Step up here because I'm really annoyed with this guy? Oh yeah, I should not have done that, but whatever, you know. Can I actually do Sneak Attack on him? All Mirror Image. All that jazz. Barnabas. Okay. So how far can you get here? What do we have level 3 at the moment? We have fear. Does it... Um, you know, if I need it makes targets drop everything. Okay. So I guess it will just be enemies, right? Okay, good. Okay. Oh, let's attack it. A miss. Very nice. Like they just keep shooting for no damage, so I guess that's fine. That guy shot for a bit more damage. I hope you hear it doesn't die here. That would suck. It took him so long to get in. At least some... Yes! Now we don't have any carousel up here anymore. Hooray! Hooray! So what do I want to cast on this guy? Level 2... Elves Acid Arrow, I suppose. Yeah. 
Did he try Oceanic Backlash? Okay. He can cast Guiding Bolt. 636 damage. There we go. With a lucky reroll, it's all fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, boy, you'll have to. All right. 16 damage, yep. All right. Hmm, <laughs> that's good. He didn't die, that's amazing. Okay, I start and finish him. Come on, there we go. Um, what happened now? Did more people join? Oh. Okay, so more people did join. Like this guy with 96 HP. <coughs> I guess that was a trigger. Miss. Too bad. Did you hear her? She needs healing, like, for real. She needs healing for real. Well, let's do the spiritual weapon first. How far can you get? And to attack him? Nope. Attack him, that's for sure. Okay. Okay, and what are you gonna do? Would it be nice to... Maybe we should get... Invoke Duplicity. Hmm, no. I think what we should do is we should do... Um, who is here? These guys just came through, right? Like, they were just opening there. With a lot of stuff going on. Hmm. I think we need to heal Krons, I'll be honest. Take you. 14, so low. Hmm. Okay. They just keep shooting, they're so annoying up there. Oh, this is not cutting it, it's just taking too long with these Harper guys. Okay, finally he died. Finally he died. Okay, so now they're going up there, good. Okay. What do we have on level 3? We have still have haste on Kron. I, th I still think we should go with it. There we go. Come on, Asterion. We have to get... What's he doing? There we go. <laughs> I'm sure it's worth it for him to move away. Okay, so now it's Kron. Can we... How much can we do? I mean, he's going in. Kron. He's a dog. He's going in right now. He doesn't care. He's going in. You are no... 
one here. You are no one. You are no one. Like I said, level 9 warden, level nine, 96 HP in one turn. You're no one. Uh, now we're just going to move over here behind the door and close the door. <laughs> uh, yeah, just finish him off. There we go. I mean, don't do that rest stuff. I'm not interested. Thank you. And then I think we're going to do... We don't have any more bonus actions, so we're just going to stick here for a bit. It's her turn, so she should perhaps go over here and do a Guiding Bolt on one of these guys up here who are super annoying. Yeah, that's it. Can you fly up? No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. It never works. The charm never works. The charm never works. Come on guys, shoot them up. Well, at least they're taking care of them up there, I hope. Hunger of Hadar. Okay. Now, what is happening here? Okay. So, Gale, what can you offer in this hour? So, Hunger of Hadar, 426, 424 damage. Creatures within this black sphere are blinded. Okay. So we don't want to end inside the black sphere, basically, is what you're saying. That's good to know. I think we'll need to cast something creative. And what is more creative than... I'm as an arrow. Alright. How much does he have? 70, good. I'm gonna have to give up blurred because now we're going in for it. Come on. Oh, that's so good. This is so good. Like, this guy over here who's standing there concentrating, he must be shitting his pants right now. As Kron moves in to end him or her. I don't want to assume any gender, so, you know. Um, cutting action dash. Can't reach destination, really. Well, how about this then? There we go. No hunger of Hadar anymore, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Okay. What's he doing? Come on. Well, what's happening? Why are you not doing anything? Alright. Uh, what do you do? You should just work on those guys up there, I think. <coughs> uh, where is the sacred flame? Yeah, you could just... No, 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 no. Hand trip, firebolt. Oh, <laughs> he 
She's so bad sometimes. Okay, can you fly up there? Can you fly up there? Not enough movement? To fly up there? Oh. Well, then I guess you're just gonna hang out here. Wondering about your meaning in life. Your purpose. So to anyone listening in chat, uh, one of the things I really like to talk about um, when I'm talking about the game is American football. So I'm a big fan of American football. Sorry, that was a crit hit on Guiding Bolt. That sucked. Um, yes, so right now a lot of things are happening. You know, we have a new season that is starting soon. And we'll have to see how that pans out. However, my team, New England Patriots, they have done a lot of interesting things. They re they've um, released some players, which um, I was like, are they going to release that? They released a quarterback, and then they released another quarterback. So they only had one quarterback on the roster at, some, at one point. But then they fixed it all by actually resigning them to what's called a practice squad. So a practice squad is like a small unit you can have attached to your football team where you can, you know, park people who are not quite good enough for, for being on a team, but are still all right to you know, practice. Maybe they can make the team one day. And that's what uh, that's what practice squad is about. So it was quite exciting to follow that uh, to follow that development. And now you know all the teams have released a bunch of players, and now they just have to figure out who who's getting resigned, who's not getting resigned. Can you fly up there yet? Nope. You know I think I'm gonna dismiss you because you're useless. Hello, I dismissed you. Thank you. Come on, kill him already. Thank you. I should take a look. Oh, what did she say? She said, like, no rest? What? Um, that's a terrible thing to say. That's a terrible thing to say. Okay, I'll need to loot all of this, basically. <laughs> Barn was color. I get stunned for a little bit because of the haste wearing off. Let's go here. Can he move yet? Good, he can move. No, Harper Teebs. Gloric, Zarel's personal reminder. Let's see, what does Zarel's personal reminder say? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so there is personal chambers here of that guy. Okay, here are a lot of things. There's Balthus's room key, Absolute's protector. Okay. Um. All right. So I think this shield will go to Shadowheart. There we go. That's fairly good. Oh, there are more zealots here. I, I wonder if I get to sell all of this stuff or it's just going to be not doable. We'll have to see. <laughs> uh, oh. <gasps> okay, 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 
okay, okay, okay, okay, okay, okay. Plate armor plus one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sulfur's note. While raging, the word generates... Okay, so this is for Barbarian. Is this... How good is this? You're hit by a foe within two meters. It takes one to four fire damage. Now this is just straight up one more armor class. I think it's going to be like this, right? What about this halberd? It does the same damage. Gain plus one bonus to initiative rolls and advantage on perception ability checks. You can attack rolls reaction, you make it with advantage. And this just gives you a light. So I think we're going to keep this, especially because it gives force. Also because it gives you <coughs> those advantages, excuse me. Hey, Edna Karen, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? Oh, there's an Iron Bandit Shield plus one as well. I bet after picking up all these things, I won't be able to move. I probably won't be able to move. Um... So how good is this? Plus three armor class. I think actually we're gonna equip this instead of... Although it gives a fire shield chill. We'll keep this as well. I'm good, thank you. Um, I'm just, you know, going through uh, Baldur's Gate 3 at the moment. We have just had a huge encounter here, as you can see by all the corpses lying around. And right now we're just scavenging everyone for loot, trying to see what goodies they dropped. Uh, I mostly stream action RPGs and RPGs as well. Uh, what about you? Are you uh, are you a streamer? Are you, well, what do you do? What, what do you like to play if you play anything? Let's see, we have to sell some stuff because it's getting heavy now. It's getting heavy now. I don't think we need any of those things. <laughs> broom? What? what? Why does he have a broom? There's a lot of weird stuff here. Pouch of ash, a quill, some bottles. Like, where did he pick all of this up? Kron, you've been... You've been... Silly goofing around like a goose yeah so these are the armors that are all heavy just need to sell all of this basically all right i think this is fine let's do a short rest maybe good i think we we'll looted timothy Oh, we need to loot Fist Ulthred, maybe, to see what he had. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll check you out. I wonder why they're glowing blue. Um, Zealot Munish. Okay, so more keys, more plate armor. Roughly cut. I mean, we're going to pick up all these supplies because we really need... We really need them at the moment and there is there are guys who are dead oh no oh no no to self <laughs> what does it say no to self <laughs> trust minthara well, Minthara was an NPC we fought in Act 1. Who was really being, you know, not very nice to us. So definitely trusting her for these poor creatures was not a good idea. 
And we already know there are going to be enemies up there. There are going to be two necromites. So let's see here. As long as we hold this floor, the tower is ours. Okay. I'll Good. stay here. Ensure no one comes up or down without a scimitar welcome. You're close now. Okay, I'm close. Good. I mean, if if a final audience awaits, I probably. You shouldn't know. You, you can't. You can't join me. Say no more. Okay. So, how many spells do we actually have available? We have level three healing. I just don't want to rest until we have seen what's up here. Maybe there's just a few enemies and we can like clear them out. <coughs> Let's do a quick save. Let's move up and see what's 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 up and down up there. Okay, so maybe they're actually not here. Maybe they are in that other room. A steel claw. Okay, so. Could be up here. It looks like they're just through this. They're like necromites. Okay. Okay, level three. I think we can do this. Oh, uh, yeah, this should be doable. This should be doable. Not enough movement, though. Well, there is at least one person who's like semi powerful over here. See how well she does it. Okay, so let's see what she casts. What's she doing? What's she doing? Like, what? What she? What's she? Pfft. Okay, so she just went in there because she thought that's a good idea. think why fix it if it ain't broken right so nine damage okay and can you cast guiding bolt on her as well not enough movement hmm, that's sad can you cast anything and cast sacred flame on her I think you can cast anything from there, right? Firebolt, maybe? Nope. Invoke duplicity, then. I just think we need to do that. You're just gonna stay put, I guess. Oh, you can move up here and you can cast a firebolt on this guy. All right. There we go. There we go. And now we're going to chop him up real good. Yes, exactly. Is she going to get another fireball? Oh, well. I'm gonna cast Guiding Bolt on her. No, you missed. Why? Why did you miss? That's sad. Um, level two spell. Ray of Sickness. Okay, good. 
Yeah, we're just gonna heal heal people up a little bit. I think Kron he needs to get in there somehow. Definitely the jumps work very well. Like the jump in this game only costs three. Yes. Only costs three movement. Mercolite Scourge, main hand only. That's a new weapon for our dear priest, I think. Can't equip it right now. Okay, that's fair. Yep, that's fine. And then we just have to kill this guy off. And we're good. Okay. But we will not... Like... Oh yeah, I had one more parasite. Shield of Thralls. Yeah, this is fine, this is fine. We'll just pick it up. Um, I think we need to add another row here. <coughs> Excuse me, we're getting... Too many actions. Too many different actions. Okay. So what's up over here? A little gift. Oh, invasion plans. Let's see what this is. Marcus, I assume no explanation is needed for just how rare these appendages are. You may get use of them. I thought so. So the general who is referred to here is, of course, the general who will be fighting. I think the person who is funding him and the real bad guy is actually not here. I think he's in Baldur's Gate, which is where we'll be going next time. Gortash. That's the guy. Okay. Okay. Um, there's an ornate door. <coughs> Let's do a quick save real quick. We'll try to go through here. I think maybe this might be the Balthus room. Well, that looks very cozy. Now let's see how trapped it is. I assume it's going to be trapped to death. And by saying to death, I really mean yeah, that it will be trapped to death. Okay, so maybe I need to press these in a particular order. Oh. Well, there are some zombies there. I guess we can take them on. Where's the other zombie? Still so there. Okay. Hmm. So, do we need to press them in order or? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Because we're clearly not that book. That book, maybe? Click. Okay. Let's ungroup here, just so Kron he can. Make sure to see what to press. There's another protruding book down there. Oh, 
Okay. What? Oh, we're being poisoned. Okay, cool. Move, please. Please move over here. Thank you. Oh, it's filling up the whole room. Cool. Okay. So that was that book. Okay. So maybe another book needs to be clicked in an order. No, not that one. Okay. There was a lever there. Where does this lead? Oh shit, what happened there? <coughs> okay, a lot of things to explore here. Um, so there are these protruding books, right? And there are personal notes. There's a telescope. So why don't we um, investigate some of these things? First. There's a moon lantern. I will have two. There's an engraved Githyanki disc. I think we already had one of those, right? Like this one. This inscribed. This is engraved. Disc is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki mm. writing. The symbols are striking to look at, but I'm not sure what they mean. Without a cipher or primer to aid you, the disc's message okay. is near impossible to discern. Let's see. I mean, near impossible, nothing is impossible for Kron. <clears throat> like I said, nothing. In your mind's eye, the symbols trade places with each other until a clear pattern forms. And from that pattern, a story emerges. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver. <laughs> his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelima. Vlakid's faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars we hear whispers telling the truth. <laughs> Okay. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. This is not good. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the Ones. Okay. Gith. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir. So this is probably related to that stuff. It's an intriguing tale. And a forbidden one, given how expertly it was... But what about the other one, then? So this is part three. A map etched into this intricate disc. The risen road winds through a mountain pass. Okay. Okay. We decided to get the by pointing towards the Githyank crash hidden in the mountains, so we should find it. That seems a bit late for that. Okay. Hmm. Press a keeper pet. Okay. Okay, so let's conclude. I'm still not sure what to do with the protruding books. So we'll have to figure that out. Ooh. 
We'll have to figure that out. Derivation cloak. Well, I never poisoned foes, so you know. That kind of sad. But cloaks are pretty, so you know. I think we should wear it. We had those shards from the bottom there. Um. Where is it? I just picked it up. Come on. There it is. He can wear it, yeah. Pretty cloak. What if we gaze in the telescope? Okay. Nothing. It's it's good that my character can be this humorous when we're in this situation. Okay, the key is recruiting a tribe of goblins. Yes. That's exactly what they've done. Gulfmeron Reserve. Okay. Yeah, let's quick save again. I think we might have another short rest in us. Let's go out here. See what is going on. What is going on here? A dark goddess. Okay. Someone um died here, looks like. Can you can you open it? Can Asterion open it? He could? 30. Okay. So, even it's not impossible, but it will be difficult. It will be difficult. I have a lot of Thieves tools, so I can try a few times. What I need to roll is I need to roll like 18 or something. Well, that was close. <coughs> okay, one more and then we are going back. Then we'll figure out the bookshelf, I think. Close, okay. I'm not spending any more on this. Okay, so what about these these chests then? Okay, what is this? I like doors here and more to explore and stuff. Okay. I mean, we can fight some more people. And that's what we need to do. Okay. So what's happening here? Invasion plans for the Sword Coast. I mean, this all looks very like... <laughs> very epic, right? In a way. Like, they, they want to basically kill everything. Okay. I think it's trapped, but you know. Oh, well, it's just a loose plank. Held the brain domination. Okay. What does that mean? I wonder. Confident you'd like to young gorgeous plant and save an illicit. Oh. Yes. 
So that's what happened. So Gortash, he enslaved an illicit elder brain. Okay, and no one reacts to this here, really? Really? And no one reacts to that. Okay, fair enough. You know, it's, um, apparently. Huh. Like, that's insane. That is literally insane. Okay, we can totally kill that. Yeah, he couldn't be surprised, so it's fair. Yeah, let's just dealing with it real quick. It's level three, so it's really not a problem. It is not a problem. Yeah, I just have to kill it off real quick. Yes, that's fine. Yeah, there we go. By the way, we forgot to give uh, to equip this thing for her. There we go. Much better. Much better. So, when you miss an attack, yeah, I do want blushing now, it's okay. Saloon's Devotee. Oh, where does this door lead? Okay, it just leads out on the outside. Okay, and then we're out here. So we are left with Balthazar's secret, basically. <coughs> I think we should leave everyone outside here and then see what's happening then. So ungroup. And we send Kron in. So even if he gets poisoned, you know, it's, it's fine. So, could you click on the top one now? Okay, you couldn't. Click on this one. That one is blue. Recipe for drought poison. I think we already know drought poison. I'm pretty sure we do. Let's see here. Okay, so I couldn't, I couldn't use that. It's blocked. And that one, that just was the spikes, right? There is a protruding book. There is a protruding book. And there are two protruding books here, okay. And this one was the poison cloud, right? Which we already tried. And this one was just the spikes, right? Okay. So then I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, actually. Just waiting for the poison cloud to go away. Can he open it from the outside? He can. Yes.
No one doesn't do anything because the corpse were already raised. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what Tension Acolyte says. Our research in general absolutely appreciates your eagerness. Bookshelves do not have any request to borrow life from them. Refused. Not think treat any channel subject there. They're glad to more knowledge. Okay. Hmm. Can I attack it? No. Okay, let me check. Okay. So how does this work? Okay, I see. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. So we needed to put in the heart here. Gotcha. All right. Now we can group again. And save, and then we're gonna go long rest. And then we'll be going to the top. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But they were already imbued with Netherese magic. So where did that magic come from? Carved into the benches rotted surface. Okay. Strange half faded sigils. A magic circle of some kind. Thick with darkness and decay. A ritual circle. And a complex one at that. I've seen such a construction hmm. before in the writings of the Weave Pasha of Alm Raven, though his vision was not so painted. Ah, yes. The sigils are written in a curious mix of tongues. Ancient Kalashite. Oh, okay. Out. I'm reading it correctly. It's good thing we have Gale with us. Been mostly drained. But even now contains a powerful dose of shadow weave. The discarded pixie corpses might still contain enough essence. There's one of the broken lantern casements. Yes. I think I'll be able to craft one more lantern. Okay. Modification of the casting gesture, it might be able to wield the shadows instead of repelling them. Which sounds cool. Mistress eyes may be upon me. You should forbid me dabbling with such magic. Mm. Well, you should try anyway, Gail. Wasted, arguably. And rightly so. The last thing we need is someone of your potential becoming enthralled with Shah's magic, Gail. Okay. <clears throat> Stand back. A few clicks. It doesn't take much. The sigils fade. The circle's tainted magic dissolving harmlessly into the Okay. Air. I'm happy. I mean, I'm happy to leave these guys with a choice. Okay, good. All right. And there is a chest over here. Well, let's see if we can open it then. I wonder if I should actually go to to the basement before I go confront uh, confront general. A hat. It's a wizard hat. I know exactly the person who should wear it. There we go. Now he looks like a proper, proper wizard. Do 
just drop it somewhere like I was just hoping for there to be something behind it. So the night song is key to Kefrick's invulnerability. Uh not exactly a name I'd associate with the absolute. So it seems like we really done things the other way around. It's pretty cool how we how we came here all this time after. <laughs> okay. So where is the hidden treasure? Is it outside? Is it downstairs? No one knows. I'm just trying to find the stairs up. Maybe these are the stairs up. I mean, they look bad as enough, right? So, yeah, we're gonna go here. And then we're gonna go have a long rest in the camp. Or here. Oh, we're in the danger zone. Danger zone. Danger zone. Do you know the song? This 80s song, I don't remember how it goes, but it's like a danger zone. It's, it's pretty cool. So I wonder when the um, dangerous um, thing will end. Still dangerous? Okay. I guess I'll have to go all the way out. Still dangerous? Okay. I wonder if I'll be allowed to leave. Yeah, I will be allowed to leave. Let's just quick save so we don't screw anything up. I think someone wants to speak to me. Well, the dog wants to speak to me, obviously. Just keeps keeps carrying stuff to me. Oh, such a nice dog. He gives in and surrenders his So where are the Where's some um... Let's see, they still want to talk to me though. What? Who is not here? Why is he not there? Go to camp, please. Dude, what are you doing? Like, seriously. And where is she? Okay, she's there. Okay, good. Like, why, why wouldn't he go? Jeez, Louise. No time to rest. Hmm. Gail's mirror image. Okay. Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gail of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. I do hope he doesn't hit on me. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path. Soon you will find it. Yonder path. Okay, which path? All that path? Oh yeah, I also need to speak to Halson, by the way. I think we may soon see it vanished from these lands. A survivor? Sylvanus blesses us. This yes. is just the person we need to speak to. Thaniel is no ordinary child. 
He is the very spirit of this land. If this fist knows where he is, I will go to see him at once. Okay, good. So off he goes. Maybe Gil is up here. No. No Gail up here. But where is he then? Okay, he is up here in this house with a bed. Oh god. He was not here. It's just housing waltzing around. I don't understand where is he. Seriously, Gale, it's not funny anymore. Gale. Where are you? Oh. I don't have time for this, like... Oh. I have any any quests here? Wizard of Waterdeep? No. Let me talk to Gil's mirror image again. Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gail of Waterdeep. You are speaking to him. Would you care to join him? What little I could glean from the portion of his mind that is open to me. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path and soon you will find him. What does yonder mean? I mean, maybe it means we should rest. Okay, good. So that's how it's supposed to work. That's good to know. That is good to know. Oh God! No. I love this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. I would almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of love. Oh no! That most beautiful of fantasies. Yeah, the Kron's reaction is also like... I wanted to see you, while I still could. Hmm. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be on the... Why? Way. Beauty. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight. Of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Babe or crone, coward or hero, death is assured. Mistress' forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? Good question. I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. My face would scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. 
There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. Mm. Yes, but there is so much to live for and so few moments in which to house it all. Damn you. Damn you for giving me so much to care about. Our friends, our adventures. Yeah, this would have been he great. has a point. It's just me, but it isn't. There is a way, any way, to save all that's grown dear to me. I want to seize it. I just cannot fathom what that might be other than to fail Mistra and condemn the world. Stay with me, will you? I don't want to think of it anymore, but I don't want to be alone either. We can watch the stars, it's fine. Whatever you want to do for a friend, right? Oh, so peaceful. Okay, so I have no idea what that kind of encounter is going to be, but I have to see. We will have to see. Oh, he's encumbered. That's good. Um, I don't think we need all these broken moon lanterns. But you never know. All right. Oh, it's is on this floor then. Is it over here? Okay. Oh, maybe it's all the way over there. Let's ungroup. Are we going the right way? Well, apparently. Okay, no, there was actually a way to get through there. I don't think we need to go this way. I don't think we need to go this way. Just taking all the damage. For no reason. Taking all the damage for no reason. So I think. So it's to the right here, and then it's up through. What's behind this door? Let's check it out. Okay. Is it somewhere here? Is there like a broken wall I have to hit? No. Like it's supposedly in the previous room. And this just leads around. Hmm. Ah, there is a cracked wall, of course. Here we go again. Aw. Maybe shadow her. Oh, why is she? Why why are they all the way back there? I don't get it. We're grouped. 
What's happening? What is going on right now? That was so weird. Let's head all the way back. Shadow Heart, please. Okay. So, what kind of damage is the dot immune to? Force damage and piercing. Oh, yeah, piercing, I forgot. So it's only force resistance. Force damage against this entity is doubled. Okay. But I thought my weapon had force damage. Hmm. Piercing damage against this entity from magical attacks is halved. And the teal, teal. Well, that should be possible, right? Definitely be able to deal 10 damage. I feel like... Is the hand crossbow? Okay, I see. How about this bow then? No. But I think that I sold whatever weapon I had. Oh, is that one piercing maybe? This one is also piercing, but... Let me see. Slashing. Sucks. Okay, so let's try now. Why is it now saying it's immune to piercing damage? It's not immune to piercing damage. <coughs> Force resistance. I mean, this one I could use, but you know what? I don't want to spend time on this right now. It's something I can do off stream or whatever. Right now, only one thing is important. And it is that we get up to the guy who we need to take care of. I hope there are no ads. Up there. Okay. We're gonna give this one go. If it fails, then we'll continue tomorrow because it is getting a little bit late. There he is. Oh, well, what have you done? I 
I mean, this would be awesome if it worked. Okay, well, let's see how it goes. Oh, what's happening? I will not bow before you. He's so bitter. And now you think you'll take my life in the bargain? You dare to speak her name. After your crimes innumerable, you would evoke her before me. Enough. This ends here and now. At last. He will crumble at the power of your touch. Give him all you have. The gods fight and I'll die. A bow, really? Okay. So unfortunately, there are a bunch of um, enemies here. But are these undead, actually? Oh yeah, they are undead. Okay. How much HP does he have? Only 145. Pfft. I mean, can you sneak attack? You can sneak attack. Okay. I mean, we have to start getting, getting over there, right? So we'll do this and then we will. We will um, shoot you, shoot you. Okay. What is that? Incubating. I have no idea what that is. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, there's only one thing to do here, right? Why did I use? No, I used my level four spell. No, that was so stupid. Where is uh, Shadow Heart? She's there, okay. Okay, let's see what he can do. He also does incubate that. I wonder what this does. Ah, okay, nice. Oh shit. Okay, so is this an under thing? It's not an under, it's just like something. 
So let's see, how far does it reach? Reach is quite far. Is he undead as well, actually? He is an undead. Okay, so we could definitely go over here. And then do turn undead. And we'll do a third level spell, summon this, what's he immune to actually? Is he, no, okay. Okay, so I think Kron needs to start melting faces here. Okay. How much? I think... Yeah, so you just go over there. Not dead yet. Okay. No, 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 the spiritual weapon, no, no, no. Oh. <coughs> Let's see how it works. How much they can, they can damage him. Thanks that, that he actually, like, <laughs> attacked all on me and not on Gale, for example. Okay, so this is Theron now. Hmm... I feel like you should be killing her. No, we should be killing him. There we go. My lord beckons me. You must return to your prison, and my daughter must be reclaimed. You are such a talker. Uh oh. What is this? What is this? Okay, so what happened now? Did he go away? Did he just disappear? For now? Okay, that's good to know. Okay. Okay, so now is the time to cast something good. And what by good, what do I mean? <sighs> oh, fuck's sake. 
Like, how bad is that? Um... Move over here. Okay. How much does she? Yeah, he can totally do this. Yeah, just die. Okay. Reach from beyond. Pfft. I have no idea what happened here. Like, how could he just escape? Where did he go? Hmm. Oh, it finally worked. Charm, good. Okay, so... Well, who do I have advantage against? I have advantage against this guy, right? So I can shoot him, probably. Ugh. I mean, it's Kron's turn first, right? So we might as well just bring him in there. You can move up there, probably. Or just shoot him. There we go. Yeah, level 3 magic missile in your face. Still <coughs> doesn't die. That's amazing. Um. Only four damage. Well, can't have it all. No, my weapon. Okay, so, Kron. Please. Can I kill four guys in one turn? No. So close. There we go. Okay, so what happened here? Uh, yeah, but where is he?
I'm just going to do a quick save for now. Ring of Exalted Morrow. Sure, it sounds good. I will totally use it. Wherever it was, it was here. Let's see, Exhort the Risen. Ghoulish Touch Me. I mean, it's better than this one, so. So where do I need to follow him? Okay, there she is. I need to follow him down into the hollow tower. Yikes. No, it's not better. What are you talking about? Are you kidding me? You guys. The hole yawns back at you, impossibly wide. A single tentacle burrowed through stone. Oh god. This is icky. This is an illicit colony. This must be where they harvest the tadpoles. We're close to the source of the infections. All of this is beneath moonlight. For how long? How deep does it go? How big is this map? Fairly biggish. Army. We are very close to the source of the absolute now. That telepathic storm has become a tempest. Okay. Flesh rot door. Yeah, I bet he's he's there. I mean, I just need to find out if I should have done a long rest. It's a lot of things here. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. I think we should have done a... Um, I think we should have done... I'll, I'll rest up here. Let me check uh, if it's available, and then I think we're going to call it for tonight, because it seems like there is quite a bit of an encounter left. Come on. Okay, good. So it is safe. So I will be able to do a long rest here. Excellent. All right. So thank you everyone for watching. It's been great to have you here. I hope you had fun. And we'll see. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to finally get to the general and cut his head off. For now, have a good evening. Good night.